the Long Island Tea Podcast. I can't believe Three it. Three years strong. Three years strong. We yes. start every episode with saying, how you doing? How, how you doing? doing? How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? We're at the Gurney's Seawater Spa. We're at the incredible Ohiki Castle. We are on the beautiful Shelter Island. At the Selfie Clubhouse. I mean, when do you get the chance to right. have Adventureland right. yourself? A taste of Long Island. We have Besito. Hi, neighbors. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Welcome back to the Long Island Tea, where we spill the tea on living your best Long Island life. I'm Kristen. And I'm Sharon. Welcome back to you. Thank you so much. And um, thanks for holding down the fort. And you guys got to do the fun stuff while we I was did. gone. did. Did you see the thumbnail picture? So cute. We, that was hilarious. Coyote. I loved it. It was cute. We had a good time. Although she doesn't think I'm funny. Alyssa doesn't yeah. think you're funny? She didn't laugh at your jokes? She didn't laugh at my jokes like you would. Yeah, it. You know what? Um, chemistry is everything. It is, and I talked a lot about that this week. At all my stuff, uh, people were talking about our chemistry. Sharon can't Aww. be replaced. Um, so, you know, it's been so crazy, and I'm excited that you know it's you and I back here, and we kind of don't have a guest this week because I have a lot to catch yes, up on. Yes, we do. And so, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, you know, it's good. It's <laughs> April. We are. You know, in spring, full ahead. Yeah. We had some nice weather. <laughs> You're so funny. I was looking at the TikToks of our, um, like, last episode, and I looked so angry. I looked every, I looked really, did you notice that? I, was I feel like, like I did too. I was like, and everything, and I was like, what was my deal? <laughs> I don't know, but I, I agree. It's, it's um, my, so it's funny, Tegan said the other day, we went by, and it was like, all the farm stands are starting to open yeah. again. It's giving summer. It is. Things are blooming. Ugh. I mean, it's amazing. I, I love the blooms. You know what people don't realize, including me, like when I'm driving around Long Island, the cherry blossoms. Yes. I mean, like DC is known for their cherry blossom yep. season, but the cherry blossom trees all around. I, I like, I, I get distracted when I'm driving. I know. Cause you're like, that, that one's blooming. Oh my God, what are the so yellow beautiful. ones? The yellow the yellow trees there. there. There's yellow ones that, um, the white ones, yes. the pure white. Oh, I was so like, pretty. I just want to stop and get a picture of this I stuff. Know. I have a tree in my front yard and I just hit it to Thomas the other day and it blooms like twice a year with these big giant purple flowers. Beautiful. And I'm like, Oh, my tree's blooming. I get so excited. Yay. <laughs> you, know, and you're like, you know that it's you time. Know you're old yeah. and that's kind of stuff that excites you. But, um, the last couple of years, right when this tree blooms with these big, giant purple flowers, and mm -hmm. I love it so much, and I wait for it, it there's like, then there's like a torrential, like, a, what's it called? Like a, a storm, like whether they call the storms, like a bomb cyclone okay. or something. Yeah. When they all fall off. The second it blooms, yeah. there's like a bomb cyclone. Oh, no. And it blows them all off. So Ugh. I only get, so I'm hoping this, I'm hoping this year. It'll last a little bit. It'll last a little while. It's funny, because like. I'm really hoping, and I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but like every I'm year. I'm like immediately like, it's going to be a bomb cyclone. And you're like, I'm a Debbie Downer. This is why this, we're, this, this is why. Okay. Um, you know, remember last year, I feel like it rained like every weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're kind of creeping on that. I know. Yeah. Pattern and again. Yes. And even during the summer, it was yeah. rainy. It was, it was weird. That's what I mean. Like every weekend during the summer, like gorgeous out all yeah. week. And yeah. then like Saturday, you want to hit the beach. Ah, nope. No. Gray skies. Yeah, we're just going to have to flip flops. What I think what we should do is look at the calendar, look at the weather, and then flip flop the weekend. Yeah. It'd be like Monday, Tuesday off. Yeah. Yeah. The weekend like is raining. It. You know who can make those decisions? You and me. Yes. <laughs> I know. So I think we just were on to something. Instead of summer Fridays mm. um, on Long Island, we'll actually look at the weather and yeah. be like, whatever day is the best beach day. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, that won't happen though, because no. and then Saturday and Sunday roll around. People are like, I'm, you want me to work? Right. No, nah, no, nah. it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, okay. So I have, so we have so much to catch up on. All right. I can't even tell you how much has happened this past week. Well, I mean, obviously nor'easter, right. Earthquake, right. Eclipse, right. <laughs> like, Retrograde. Could there, could it's there crazy. be more? It's crazy. Please no. Yeah. The answer is no. Aliens probably. So where were you? Let's start with earthquake. Okay. So I, since I've last seen you, there's been so, so much that's happened. Um, but I was at the CEO summit mm -hmm. with all my colleagues in Boston. Yes. And 
I felt so bad for the city of Boston because they did put so much work into hosting this this group from around the globe. And I think it's throughout the city. So these events and things oh, like that yes. that you went to, like yeah, it's throughout the whole city. Exactly. They um, like we got to go see this awesome New Balance Center, mm -hmm. like the New Balance. Did you issues. get New Balances? No, I didn't. Mm. Um, some people got like a gift card. I didn't, I didn't get one. I never win anything <laughs> right. Just say no. So, um, and then, but I did play pickleball for the first time huh? in the new balance center. Do you like it? I don't. Okay. I do not. All right. Um, mostly because apparently it requires hand eye coordination, <laughs> of which I uh, learned very quickly. I do not have you lack. I, I, I spent the entire time. I mean, it was good exercise cause I was just chasing the ball. <laughs> That's all I did. Did you ever like, watch hey. Daria on MTV? No. Oh, okay. Do I sound like that? Well, she would always like hold out her hand when the volleyball would come. Oh. That's so funny. Yeah. I, it's better than me. Like I, I like flinch and duck away from it and then just have to chase oh, it. Oh, that's funny. I know. But everybody else, but it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Um, but it was this really cool center. But the cool thing is um, we had like several charter buses because there are about 300 CEOs of destination marketing organizations. Again, Destinations International, so mm -hmm. not just nationwide, but globally. Yeah. It was really cool because you get like a global perspective as to what's happening in the industry and really high level conversations about AI and de how leadership, how you lead. It was, yeah. I always love this conference. Yeah. But when we went to the New Balance Center, there was about four or five charter buses that went. Okay. Um, we actually got a police escort <gasps> through the city of Boston. Oh, that's amazing. Like, it was cool yeah that is so i've never cool. had a police escort yeah, that's like, awesome they literally shut down traffic yeah. so that our buses didn't have to wait at, like a red light that's awesome um but it was nor'easter yes <laughs> so did I, you that's get why hit sad for the city of boston yes so it was crazy so it, you know it was hard because you did not want to go anywhere you couldn't like walk around the city right right it was wild um and then it, i ended up leaving early because it was going to snow right and I didn't so want to worried get trapped. About you. Yeah. Um, so I took the Amtrak. I was just going to say, you didn't drive. You took the Amtrak. I did not but like, drive because of the storm. Right. Um, so I was like, oh, the Amtrak, I was scheduled to leave Friday morning. But mm -hmm. instead, I came back Thursday night. Right. I just like skipped the last reception or whatever. I'm mm -hmm. like, uh, I've seen everybody. I got to yeah. go. I got to catch yeah. train. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I got How home. long is the ride? It's long. On an Amtrak. Um, so Amtrak to New York yeah. City is about four hours. Okay. And then you got, of course, you have to switch trains. Right. This is me because I was still in my conference <laughs> outfit, high heels, stilettos. You know, because I, I went straight. Yeah. I go straight to the train station yeah. from the session, and then I'm on the train, and then I'm running through Penn oh, Station. Oh my gosh! To I'm catch like, another train with my suitcase. Yeah. You know, jumping over like people that are sleeping on the <laughs> stairs. I'm like pushing, pushing yeah. people out of the way. True New Yorker. Because I, I think I had like eight minutes oh, in between stress. the trains or else I had to wait. And it was getting, I didn't go home to like nine 30 yeah, night, you know, yeah. it was a long day. Um, but anyway, got home. So excited to sleep in my own bed. So the next morning having like a leisurely morning catching mm -hmm. up, Thomas comes, he had a, he had a work call. Then he comes up, we're having coffee. We're like catching up on the whole week. Yep. Cause I had been the other interesting news. I'd been sick. Yes. I had been sick the whole time, which mm -hmm. is always a fun way to be at a conference, but you know, fighting through it. Right. But just like, rasp. like you do. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. you do. I, mm -hmm. you had lost your voice and I pretty much lost my voice. Yeah. I, so I probably, sorry. I'm like, no, it's, <laughs> I don't know who gave it to who, but I was like, you know, at the end of the night, mm -hmm. like night quill. Yeah. Good night. I'm mm -hmm. going to power through. Yeah. So, um, I was, we're catching up on the week. Everything happened. So we're sitting there lying in bed and all of a sudden the whole house starts to shake Ugh. Friday morning. And I'm like, what the, I, just like every other, if you looked at all of the New York footage, all the memes, yeah. I had to send it to my friend in California mm -hmm. who like deals they, with this yeah. all the time, the New York attitude to earthquakes. And it was like a little, you know, it was like everything shook the amount of F bombs. Right. And every single I social media, I was like, the New York was like, what's this on the Richter? Yeah, exactly. What is this one? Oh my God. But it was in New Jersey. So the earthquake New was Jersey. in New Jersey and we yes. felt it here. Um, yeah. I was in the airport. Oh, getting ready to take off to go to Florida for my little vid vacation. Yes. And, you know, we're sitting at the airport bar, flew, flew out of Long Island MacArthur Airport. Awesome. And I think it's Blue Point Brewery yeah. bar that's up there. Love it. Awesome. We're hanging out and uh, nobody said anything, but we all felt it. Yeah. And everybody, it was probably a good 20 people in there, plus bartenders. And we all just like kind of looked at each other. And then I was like, 
what was that? And the bartender's like, that was not a plane. Yeah. And I was like, that's what you wondered. Like, is, is a truck going by? Well, it felt is it like wind? I thought it, it was a plane taking off. That's yeah. exactly what it felt like. Did, you know, you're like, did something just happen? Yeah. I know. Well, Tegan was talking about at school and they were all like, the teachers are freaking out. Mm -hmm. The teachers were like, is it a bomb? Oh gosh. You know, and they were all freaking out. Yeah. And she's like, my husband says it was an earthquake. Anyway, it was just funny because we don't get earthquakes. Right. Right. Uh, in New York. And it, I've never had an earthquake in my yeah. life. We had one a few years back. Um, I remember I was here. Yeah. And I remember the building shaking. Thomas said it was in um, like 2013. Yep. I remember it. So it's 10 years. Like, yeah. It's once every, but it was a big one. And so I, here's the funny thing. Okay. This is totally like. People. No, I was going to say something funny too. Go ahead. Okay. I wonder if you're going to say so something. So the Richter scale, 4.8. Yes. And the eclipse was on April 8th. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. 4.8. Creepy. Right, Sharon? <laughs> I was just about to say so that. And, crazy. and by the way, I've heard nobody else say that. Wow. I love that you and I are on, on the same plane. So <laughs> seriously. Um yeah, that was but they did they ground your flight? Because I heard they I did. I was I didn't take off. Oh, you were um, there for a while. We were there. We, we were super early. Okay. Because they like grounded flights for yeah. half an hour and it was like a, it was, No, we we took we took And then we I did felt the second off. one. There was a second one. I didn't feel the second one. Because you were already gone. Yeah. It was like six o'clock and I'm sitting in my kitchen. And again, it just felt like if a major wind like shakes the house right, a little bit, right. that was much, it was much shorter yeah. and less, but I was like, what the heck is going on? I know, on? but leave it to our social media. Uh, oh, they were within on seconds, point within, Michael, within seconds, within seconds, Michael had the, the meme out. I think he was the first one. Yeah, I'm sure. It was so funny. I loved it. And I, I put one in mine that was like, I'm an earthquake survivor. <laughs> With that like white plastic chair that's on the floor. <laughs> yeah, we will rebuild. Yes, exactly. No, it was like all these. It was mine. Was like all these women dancing around like my new personality. Yeah. Now so that I'm I an survived. earthquake survivor, that's so funny. Um, yeah, but so like literally came back from a nor'easter. Yeah. Earthquake and then the eclipse. So crazy. Did you see it? No. So we were again. In, we were in Florida. We were coming home on Monday. Yeah. Um. So we didn't. We didn't see anything. Oh, did it not happen at all there? I don't think so. No. It. The yeah. way I, I think we were on the plane. I don't know. Well, it was so weird because I told you our counterparts in upstate New York, they've been planning. I've yeah. been talking to them, listening to them plan for this for years. Yeah. And, and it was cloudy up there. It Here was, it was like perfect. That's what I was just going to say. Did you see David Holder's post when he's like, oh, he, he wrote something really funny. He's, like, he's in Syracuse, yeah. right? Oh my God. It was so funny. But he took a picture of like the cloudy skies yeah. and he's like, yep, here it is. Yeah. Um, But did you see all the pictures of the traffic? Like Josiah, no, um, on his stories was like, "Yep, coming back." This is he's in Syracuse too. Yeah, he's the New York Sherpa. Yeah, he's so awesome. But he's he was like video, you know, showing video of like the traffic stops and the rest stops Wild. that were just like Packed. completely overloaded. It, it was mayhem. Um, here it was not. I but at the same time, you know, Ed, our Ed on our team, like was like. You, he came in the morning. He's like, "Do you have glasses?" I was like, "No, I don't know what you're. I don't know what you're talking about." Right. Like, I didn't think we were going to be able to see it. Right. I didn't either. I it just I just for me I just wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. I guess everyone said we weren't in the path. Yeah. Of totality, but that, I guess what I didn't realize is doesn't mean you start. You're still, still going to see it. So anyway, um, Ed Ed went on like some coffee meeting and brought me back some glasses. Aww. Luckily, and so then we're sitting there, and next thing you know, my whole family sends me like a picture of all of them. Kenzie was in town for the weekend yeah. and Thomas and Tegan and then Finnegan was home and they're all like on at the, the lawn <laughs> at the old field lighthouse with their chairs. And I'm like, what are you guys all, why is everybody? And they're like, Oh, they let the schools out and Finnegan's work. Let him out. What? To watch the eclipse. And I was like, Oh my God, I feel like the worst boss ever. Are people doing this? Right. So I said to Michael, I'm like, what, what, what do we do? And so then I was like, okay, let's, at least everybody leave your office right let's now. Let's go outside. And let's go outside and That's watch so the eclipse. Funny. Oh. And then our entire office building was outside. Yes, 200 people. Everyone's like, where they're glad. It was hilarious. So funny. It was actually, I'm, I'm actually kind of glad we didn't let it out because I thought it was a fun Little staff thing. thing. Yeah. It was really fun. Everybody watching it together. Like, Ooh, there it is. Trying to figure out how to take pictures of oh, it. Oh, that's cool. It was cool. It was a lot though. Um, and then the other thing I did since I saw you is, um, Tegan and her friend and I, we went and saw Drake. Yes. At UBS You're Arena. You're literally like hitting it up. I really am. <laughs> I mean, as far as the Coleman points. I swear. We went and saw Drake and we didn't just see Drake. We had like the most amazing seats ever. Ever. 
I mean, we were right in between, there was like a walkway in between us and the stage. Mm -hmm. And so, um, security was right in front of us. All of the people were coming in and out. We like touched everybody. That's amazing. Uh, Drake's son, his mom. That's the, awesome. This famous DJ that Tegan and her friend were freaking out about. Michael probably knows him. He dated Olivia Rodrigo and okay. he's like the DJ and they got high fives. Oh and my gosh. It was, and, and like the guy who was just on the stage with the opener, he was just like hanging out in our seats, like sitting on the ledge with us. That's awesome. It was wild. That's amazing. I'm like, and then as cool as that was, and I'll tell you what, I love Drake, but I hadn't heard a lot of his new stuff. New stuff, yeah. If you leave there a total fan. Really? I mean, his oh, that's show, awesome. His energy, it was so fun. Good. It was awesome. And UBS Arena, by the way, was so amazing. During a concert like that, which they're packed, mm -hmm. the parking, I cannot tell you how easy it was. They've oh, been getting super some easy. bad yeah. um, press on it, but I'll tell you, I just did it. I think because everybody, you know, like the Islanders fans, that's what it is, is they're like I'm all telling, upset about it. And you can take the train. You can right take the train there, right there. By the way. And it's like probably a little seven minute short walk. Yeah. You know, Which, by the way, it, so it is from the parking lot. Right. Exactly. You walk five to seven minutes from yeah. the parking lot. It's to say it's a seven minute walk is crazy because the train is right there. It is. And, um, but we wanted to drive because I didn't want to have to wait because I was, had two little girls and right. I had to wait for the train. So right. drove, parked right there in the silver parking. It's amazing. Uh, so easy. The signage is so easy. Get, and then every single place we went, even the girls commented, they were like, everyone here is so nice. Mm -hmm. We're getting our chicken tenders and they're like, just the workers there. They're like, Hey, where are you guys from? Where yeah. are you coming up from? Oh, have a great time. Have yeah. a great night. Hey, how's it going? It was wild. Yeah. I'm like, how do they train their employees like I that? Know. I don't know. I, I feel the same way. I went to see Zach Bryan there, um, two weeks ago and it was incredible. Like we took the train mm -hmm. super easy. Um, and the staff, like, what can I get you? There's the utensils. There's this that, you know, like you can find that over here. I've never been to an arena mm -hmm. a, a, with a size that size where the staff was so every single person I talked mm -hmm. to. And I, we, we were at a lot of different venues Yeah, and, and it, not just, I'm not saying VIP, like just basic concessions. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So it cheers awesome. to the UBS arena. I love that arena. It is. If you have not been there. Yet for a show or a game, you've got to go. Yeah. Uh, Hot 97 Summer Jam is coming there. Yes. I need to go. Are you going <laughs> to? Okay, we'll call. Let's make some calls. We need to make some calls. So. Um, and then just two nights ago, I went to Madison Square Garden for Olivia Rodrigo. <sighs> it was awesome. I know. And, and those seats were mind-blowing. That uh, Unbelievable. How was her, her performance? So good. Such high energy. She's a little rocker, yeah. you know, she's I mean, like, they're saying she's the next like kind of Taylor Swift, but she is, she's edgy. She's, she's edgy. Exactly. She's like a rocker chick. Mm -hmm. I love, I love her music. It's the Me very too. storytelling, right? Like yeah. you're going through all of her emotions with her. Um, I wondered how she performed. She performed fantastic. It's so cool to be in New York. And again, Long Island Railroad, this time I took the train because yep. it goes straight into Penn. Yeah. And the funny thing is it was also, uh, we didn't realize it. We jump on the train. And it was uh, Islanders, New York, New York Rangers game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like rivalries, <laughs> every hockey fan on Long Island is on this train. <laughs> yeah. Um, and they got off at UBS arena. Mm -hmm. um, I was like, oh my God, what is going on here? But it was, it's part of the experience. It's like the energy. Yeah. And then on the way home, we missed the first train by like, we weren't going to make it. It was like 10 minutes. So I went to Rose's pizza. Yes. It's got back. some pizza. Got a little slice. I love it. Jumped on the next train. That's awesome. It's the greatest. It's the I greatest. Know, it is. But yeah, back to you, uh, cool mom points. Wow. You leveled up, girl. I said, I was talking to Dave Widmer, our friend from News 12, who helped us with Olivia Rodrigo. And I was like, this is how you raise young girls. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mark Dorr, if you're listening, because, yeah, okay, with team. your young girl, mm -hmm. uh, young girls, the way you do it is you, you set the bar so high. Yep. They're not going to be impressed with these boys taking him out to just a dinner right. or something. You know what I mean? Or right. taking him to a show. Right. They're like, I mean, they're going to have to really bring your A game to impress mm. these girls. I know. Because when they've had these kinds of experiences, yeah. it's like, that's how you level up. Yes. And like expectations are high. Set. That's so <laughs> funny. It's so true. Anyway, it, it was a lot. It was, it's just, it's been, 
I can't. I was like, I have so much to catch you up on. I know. Um, I so I went to Florida and had my little mini vacay, which was so 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 needed. And uh, I was so disappointed because it was so cold. Oh, really? Yeah. We went to Tampa and like Dan was like, if you say you're cold one more time, I'm going to like literally throw you out this window because <laughs> shut up. Um, no, but it was like breezy. I want you go to Florida in like warm. April. You want to be warm. Yeah. And it was like definitely cold. I'm like literally texting Catherine. I'm like, why is it so cold? You're She's texting like, Catherine on her wedding. <laughs> Yeah. Ask complaining about the weather. She looks so beautiful. She did. Oh Catherine, who is a former Discover Long Island employee. In fact, um, Catherine came up with the name Long Island Tea. Yes. Uh, for the podcast. Yep. And at first I was like, no. Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> and then, it, yeah. and then I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's totally what it needs to be. Yeah. And also started our very first TikTok. Yeah. And she grew so it. She left a really it's, great legacy here. And did. it's wonderful to see her so happy. And yeah. Nicole, Nicole was the there. Former employee so was cute. there. And um, I love getting, and Brie went with you. I love, everybody still keeps in touch. That's what's exactly. so great about our it's fa- like a little DLI DLI family forever. It's so cute. Um, but we had the best time. We went to um, Ybor City. Have you ever been there? I don't know what you're saying. Okay. Well, it's like this other little city town next to Tampa. It's like tourist, very touristy. Okay. Um, hit up a karaoke bar. Like oh. it, was, it was a good time. Oh, yeah. And I literally have not been up that late like we got back to the yeah. hotel at like an ungodly hour let's let's hear the hour 3 30 3 30 <laughs> you were out girl i know you still got it still got it you and um, dan mm-hmm. and they, that's so it was so fun that i think every marriage needs that every now and then every you've got, you got to go like, to the party remember what it's like yeah to be you to be you yeah. and to be young yeah so funny um so i did a lot of napping because <laughs> First of all, I was like, so this is my time. Um, I fell asleep at the pool, like on the one warm day, like mm. typical New Yorker. And I was wearing a bathing suit with like stupid cutouts in the back. <laughs> now I have this forever tan line uh, on my back, which is awesome. You didn't get burned. Oh, no, I did. Oh. Fell asleep. Okay. No sunscreen. <laughs> cool. Uh, at, li- at least at least we're, you know, at an age of wisdom. Right. I'm we like, know what better. the hell? Was anybody around me? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I... Like I said, took a lot of naps, well needed. Um, but then, yeah, we came back and it was the eclipse and all that. So it's good to be back, I think. It is good to be back. And we're back just in time for tax week. Yes. Are, you, are your taxes done? Oh, yeah. Submitted, reimbursed, everything's good. Oh, my God. Yeah. Of course, you, because you're the COO. <laughs> um, ours just got submitted. Thank God. Thomas does all of them. Poor Thomas is doing our taxes. He does his mom's taxes now. Oh. And he's doing, and now he's to do all the teenagers' taxes. Oh so he's yeah, because they all yeah. Kenzie's, cause, no, everyone's like, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how to right. do. What's this? Right. It's so funny. Have you seen this trend on TikTok that is, it's uh, Michael. There's a trend on TikTok that shows it's a, a certain song, and it shows somebody's like parents. They're like, my parents at 23 and 25 raising me as a toddler. Yeah, and then they're like. My brother at 29 waiting for his Easter basket. Yes. My niece <laughs> yeah. posted something the other day. It was like, my mom at 18. And it's a woman in wedding in a wedding dress. And then yeah. she's like, me at 18, at 18. Mom, can you call the doctor? I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> can you call the doctor and pretend to be me? Because I'm too, I, or like, I don't know what to, my chicken smells funny. <laughs> what does it mean? Like, I the know. Kids can't, like my so taxes, funny. no one did my tax. No. I, in a, a million zillion years, I would never ask. Or feel safe about either of my parents doing my taxes. <laughs> I would just never even think of it. Right, right. Like handling so funny. anything financially for yeah. me. Yeah. But um. But anyway, so tax season. But you know what other time it is? Mm-hmm. It's wine week. Wine week, girl. Yeah, perfect timing. Perfect timing. <laughs> Way to go, Long Island. I wine know. Country. I was like, well, that was so smart of them. Timed like perfectly. they needed that. that absolutely. Um, and we, our taste of Long Island this week is our very favorite. God bless. Uh, Wolfer Estate Summer in a Bottle because it's you know it's giving summer. It's giving summer. Right. Um, this whole everything we're talking about right now. You know, when when we talk about it being spring. Spring is basically anticipation of summer. Yeah. Kick it's off. giving summer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That, like everyone's like, it's spring, but that really means 
It's almost summer. Yes. Um, so Long Island Wine Week, in case you didn't know what that is, it's the week of, what is it, the 15th? The 15th. Uh, through the 22nd, something like that. Yeah, the 12th through the 22nd. 12th through the 22nd. And um, there's like 20, over over 20 participating wineries, and they're doing two-for-one tastings. Which is so awesome. I mean, Go out right now. It's amazing. Go to the vineyards. Just do it. Um, and then they also have Simply Show Your New York Driver's License and Enjoy Buy one, get one tasting flights at all participating wineries, which you can find on liwines.com um, for all who are participating. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. Um, I just was on the phone with him the other day. Yeah. This is some breaking news. Here's some real tea. They don't even care. They if you, like if just show up. You don't have to have your New York driver's okay. license. Okay. All right. They're like, if you come to the vineyard and you're mm -hmm. like, I'm here for wine week, two for one tastings, they're going to give it to you. Yeah. So if you're as from the Bronx, age. you know, if you're from wherever, yeah, if you're in town and you're listening to this okay. or you're thinking, just get here for wine week because it's two for one mm -hmm. and they never do this. They don't. And it's just so exciting. And they're going to be doing this a couple times a year, right? Uh, well, I, no, I think they just do it once a year, but okay. they, they have other, other events, events and yeah. stuff that we'll talk about throughout the year. But this is their one wine week a year, which is two for yeah. one. And, um, go and get. So once you just click submit on that taxes or you have to pay that refund, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just go to go to the vineyards. Yeah. Two for one. I love it. Which turns into 3.30 in the morning for some people. <laughs> you know, you never know. I'm telling you, we learned a lot that night. <laughs> I bet you did. What, what's your karaoke song of choice? Oh, I don't know. You're not going to say it? No. <laughs> is it is it country? No, it's actually rap. Um, it was it, it was funny. Okay. So I, like I said, I was there with my girlfriend, my long time. We met in kindergarten and have been best friends ever since. We just haven't seen each other in 10 years. So like, we're like, what can we sing? Like, let's get up there. Um, we did choose a lot of sublime. Oh, which is fun. 90s yeah. vibes. Yeah. I love it. Uh, you and Alyssa talking about the 90s. And your zennial, I was like, by the way, all of the zennial things are exactly Gen X too. Yes. And, like every and that's why she was saying, like, it's so we're on the cusp. Like, Kristen likes to dance. She's like, like she poo likes poo's to the millennials. Poo -poo the millennials. I'm like, and I was like, so do I. <laughs> and I don't. Sorry, not the sorry. Millennials. I'm just saying, like, no, there's things, you know, there's things like we just said. We Gen never X just like went like, through a little bit more. Yeah, we're just a little bit tougher mm -hmm. when it comes. We're just a little bit different. Yes, I agree. Um, but that was fun. I liked hearing you guys talk about it. Uh, yeah. The fact that she went to 90s con, like that cracks me uh, up. That was amazing. Amazing. She I didn't met know, so many I, people. I, but you know how I know I'm not a zennial is because I knew no one that you were talking about. You never watched like Party of Five or Seven Party Kevin? Party of Five is the one person I knew, but they weren't there. Right. right? Because seven I was seven, confusing seven, it. Seven, no, no, no. And no. I, oh. I never watched Party of no. Five, but I knew about it. No, I didn't know any of those people. I was like, mm. I, I'm clearly the upper echelon of Gen X because <laughs> I was like, I didn't know anyone. <laughs> I, I thought it was really fun to listen to you guys. Um, but again, so when you're going out to the wine country, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there are, I think, 20, 2021 participating wines. Wow. Uh, Sharon, why do we, you know, it's giving summer, I think yes, should be the theme we're of this. Summer uh, in a bottle. Yeah, we're drinking summer in a bottle. So why is it your favorite? Uh, because it's. <laughs> First the bottle, of all, the bottle itself. First of all, the bottle. Beautiful. We're all, Sharon and I are all about packaging. All about packaging. And we we talk about how much this... And you know what I love about this particular Summer in a Bottle? It is very much sold all over the place. Like yeah. it was actually on the menu in Tampa. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. It's I awesome. love that. So Summer in a Bottle is a rosé. This wine is perfectly blends the lively province grapes, including Grenache, Am I saying that? Yeah, right? that's perfect. Okay, wow, you. look at you. You're a sommelier uh -huh. junior. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> Sinsalt, Syrah, and Vermentino taking the iconic whimsical packaging one step further. The bottle leaps out in color and sophistication. They've gone the extra mile and are very proud to have become one of the world's leading quality rose makers. Exactly. They're it's they're one sold of the best everywhere in the world. Um and so Wolfer is also on the South Fork, which is interesting. The, the vast majority of our vineyards are on the North Fork. Right. But I think Duck Walk and Wolfer are on the South Fork. Um, and it's really, so it's great if you're in a different area of Long Island. And it's so beautiful, the vineyard. It is. Have you ever been to the little farm stand? Yes. The little wine stand yeah. they do yeah. on the way to Montauk? I love it. You just, there's like a little, there's like a little They just have like cart. cases of wine sitting there. Yeah. And if you um, are not a Long Islander, you can just go to Wolfer online yeah and you can order it yeah. just join their wine club just uh, highly recommend uh so you know that's what i gave patrick and ed yes, for their wedding I, know. I gave them uh wolfer a year of wolfer wine club and 
it was the gift that kept on giving. And it's not, I mean, somewhere in the bottles, they're probably most famous, but they have so many great ones. They do. They really do. I love them. And we actually did a remote there um, about a year yeah, ago. Yeah, you and Alyssa. For Wine Week. Yeah, for yeah. Wine Week. It was, okay. Oh, it was right. last week for Wine Week. Mm -hmm. oh. That's right. And we had their, um, their cider. marketing director come on and talk about all of their wines. And I remember awesome. you guys actually had their non-alcoholic cider and you couldn't even tell it was she non-alcoholic. She tricked us, yeah. Which is cool. Yeah. Again, so if you're, if you're not... Uh, into drinking wine, you can also have that. Um, so the other thing that makes me feel like it's giving summer mm -hmm. is brunch. Yes. Brunch season. I'm telling you what, brunch is such a thing. I love it. So I, I don't know. I just feel like it's like this new thing. I know it's, it's not. not new, new, but it's new like Long Island. I it's think. new, right? Like it, I feel like it's brunch has brunch slash day drinking <laughs> has long been a thing in Arizona and Scottsdale. I remember going there and there was this one um, bar that like served you a full bottle of Prosecco out of like a flamingo. That is fun. A plastic flamingo. I mean, it's just brunch is fun. Yeah. And it's, it's probably more popular in Arizona than it was here because of the warmth, right? Right. You go outside, you sit on the patio, you have brunch. It's like a late breakfast, early lunch, and it starts your day drinking. Yeah. Pretty much. yeah. But I love the brunch. To me, brunch feels like outside flowers, bougie. Mm -hmm. I love it. Brunch um, is the best. Unlimited you know? mimosas. Bloody Marys. Bloody Marys. I mean, just fun. I know. It is so and much fun. And I love fun. our blogs. So if you go to discoverlongisland.com, our latest blog is where to brunch. Yes. So right. Celebrate. So it's brunch month, speaking of. Why? Um, yeah. Celebrating brunch month on Long Island. Some of our favorite spots. Uh, Tap Room in Bay Shore. They have um, multiple locations. Farmingdale, Jericho, Marsapequa Park, Patchogue. I sound like the railroad. Rockville Center. <laughs> Next stop. They have a Masa ton Piqua. of locations. Um, we yeah. love the Northport Hotel. Yeah. I want to go there. I've seen pictures of their brunch on social. Yeah. It looks packed. It, it um, does. And very, very beautiful. Canoe Place Inn in Hampton Bays. Of course, we love Basito, which is in Huntington Plainview in West Sayville. I haven't been to the Union yet. Have you? Um, no, that's in East Meadow and that's a new, it looks beautiful. Yeah. That's beautiful. I, that's why I think like brunch, like he's talking about, like it, it, it's very sophisticated it, and it like is. all of these, you know, restaurants that we're talking about, they're very high end. I know. And that's why I like, that's why I feel like it's perfect for spring and summer. Cause it feels like, I don't know, flowers. Yeah. Champagne. Just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's know? amazing. Eggs Benedict. Um, Bijou <laughs> in Melville has a bougie brunch. Oh yeah. And the sh I love the shed. Um, they have like the cute murals. You take a picture in front yes, of the wings and the, I love the them. shed. They have several locations, Huntington Plainview and West Sayville. Um, there's, there's a bunch village idiot. There's a bunch, uh, go to the blog, go to the blog. You'll see um, it. Um, discover long Island.com. Wait a minute. Juniper restaurant at the Vanderbilt. I didn't know they had a restaurant at the Vanderbilt. Yeah. That's I heard awesome. that. You know how I heard that? Our blog. Hi. See? <laughs> I know. I look, I was reading the blog and I was mm -hmm. like, what a great idea to go to the Vanderbilt Ugh. and have brunch. Talk about a bougie brunch. I'm telling you. There it is. It's awesome. And there are a lot of other choices. So you've got to go read the full blog, discoverlongisland.com slash blog. Yeah. Um, so you know what else makes me think like it's giving summer is all the openings. Yes. Because, you know, a lot of things are seasonal. They are seasonal. But I feel like a lot of them are opening up earlier this They're year, right? And staying open later. Staying Eventually open, everything will be year round. But yeah. Some things are seasonal mm -hmm. and a couple of our favorites are on Shelter Island and Sag Harbor. The Pridwen, which we always talk about like dirty dancing vibes. I love it. And Barron's Cove and Sag oh, Harbor. We love that. So fun. Um, but you can book your summer getaway, uh, Hamptons getaway at caperresorts.com slash East End to attend these Pridwen or Barron's Cove. They're owned by the same people. Oh, yeah. And they're both... Um, yeah, again, they're both beautiful and very boutique-y. And it's also the opening of um, the Long Island Skydiving Center, Sharon. So, and, yeah, I don't know. And Wild Play. Wild which Play, is also I saw that. Lining. Did you do the zip lining? I didn't. Because you're, I, you've gotten scared of heights in your old age. In my old age. I don't know where this comes from. No, I can tell I you really... where it comes from. You and Liz were talking about it. I'm like, how do you not know? It comes from understanding mortality. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Michael True. was like, oh, are you guys going to skydive? I'll skydive with you. Of course you will. Because you don't have three kids to put through college. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I have a dog. You do have peaches now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And She's, she yeah. is everything. And so you need to think about that before you go skydiving. Very true. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, when you start, when you become a 
mom mm-hmm. or a parent, you realize, yeah, I can't be doing this crazy stuff. Yeah. I have people that rely on me. Oh, it's, it is creepy. It can be jumping out of planes, taking risks. Although, you know, wild play, I made, I don't know, you, you're just totally strapped in. Yeah. You know, the I zip did the line, zip you did it. Yeah. Um, I've done some of the course, but to me, the only reason I do the course is the course is a commitment. Yeah. It's like, that's takes, a true hike. It's, it's athletic. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's awesome. I mean, it's a real deal. They do have like um, amateur courses they do. too, no, right? But it's like, it's really it's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the, but the zip lining I've done, which is super fun. That is awesome. And I would love to skydive. I really would. The skydiving, we have it in our video. It is a, it is a bucket list thing. And didn't you tell me it's like bucket, li- oh, bucket list. It's, it's, national, next, bucket it's list. national bucket list day. That's How crazy. perfect to do that. Just go. I mean, skydiving is going yeah. to be on everybody's bucket list. Yeah. Um, unless you're scared of heights like me, <laughs> but you got to just, just, just jump out that plane. Yeah. Take the plunge. Just take, just step, just take, take that step. Take that but plunge. bucket list day is next week, which is crazy. So we were thinking maybe the hotties can write in and let us know some of their like bucket oh, list items for either the summer oh, or just idea. somebody, some place that they haven't gotten to yet. And then we'll share it in yeah. the next episode. And we, if you go back to our blog our archives, we actually have bucket list blogs right. too. Long Island bucket list I ideas. I think it's like 23 things to yeah. do at, on your bucket list. Yeah. Or, that we did for last year. Or yeah, something. exactly. So we have bucket list items, but yeah, it'd be interesting to know if you look at the blog, if we forgot anything or what your, or it doesn't have to even be just, what is your general yeah. bucket list? Yeah. Idea? I love it. I, I'm, I, I said, I want to write a book that called, it's called kick the bucket list. Oh, because I'm done with bucket lists. I just want to sit in my backyard. Yeah. This is how you know how old I am. Yeah, that's I'm so like, true. I don't Me feel too. the need to check things off anymore. No. And I, I think wanna, like, I, I don't know. I just want a nap like you. <laughs> exactly. Just I just want to want rest. I just want to take a nap. <laughs> um, what was that movie with, uh, what's his name? Jack Nicholson. Mm. Was it Bucket List? I don't know. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, I don't know about that. Um, uh, something like that. I kind of know which one you're talking about. But it's Bucket List season, so we're giving you lots of ideas. Um, and you know what else? We It's also still Autism Month. Yes. And April is. And we got reached out to by um, Richard about a taste of embracing autism, which is on April 26th at the Harbor Club at Prime, which is one of our favorite places in Huntington. Oh, yes. It's right on the water. It's right on down on the water. I love Harbor Club at Prime. So a great venue, a wonderful event, and it's a tribute to Joe Winters. By the way, I remember Joe Winters. You remember, you remember, right? Yeah. Winters Brothers yeah. is like our waste management um, on Long company Island. on yeah. Long Island and um, sanitation. And I remember when he passed away from COVID mm-hmm. and he was in his 50s. Yeah. It was so, so horrible. I mean, what an incredible family. Oh, yeah. They give back to the community so much, the Winters family. And um, they started this entire autism, um, advocation where they were, they hire individuals with autism a lot at winter brothers, uh, since their son was diagnosed with autism in 1996. Yeah. And he, um, firmly believed in the power of employment to provide fulfillment and purpose. And today with autism affecting one in 36 children in the U S and an alarming 90% unemployment rate among adults with autism, the need for robust adult focused services and opportunities is crucial. Yeah. So the cool thing is all proceeds from this event will benefit the winter center for autism. Um, anyway, it, it's just, it's a great event. It's, and it's a beautiful location and it's serving a wonderful cause um, by a wonderful family. So all donations will be recognized by your business and, uh, you can, um, the link is in our show notes. Yeah. If you want to go to make the, any just, donations, just click on, or just want to donate the link is in our mm-hmm. show notes. But again, it's a, a toast to embracing autism on April 26th at the Harbor club at prime. So thank you, Richard, for letting us know about that, because I remember that story and we've met and that his family son. Yeah. and his, and yeah. And, and his wife. Yeah. They are um, incredible. They're really, they do a lot for our community. So mm-hmm. I'm really happy to be able to share that event information. Yes. Some um, and there's just a couple other things happening that, that we'd let you know about. Um, there's it's spring appreciation day in Stony Brook village on Saturday. Oh, what does that mean? On Saturday, the 20th, they just have like a lot of events. What did you know what I saw? And I don't know if I saw it on Facebook, um, the food truck festival back in Setauka. Oh, uh, Fridays. Oh. So it's, it's the farmer's so, market, so right? That so it's is opening so, yeah. up. So that's what I was telling you. Tegan walked, we drove by and usually that's the farmer's market. Yeah. 
but they were just a bunch of food trucks and it was a cars everywhere. And we're like, what's that? is the farmer's market open? But that's where like, it's giving summer. Yeah. That's, is that on every Friday now? Every weekend. Oh yeah. Thank you for telling me what's happening on my street. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't even know. But I thought it was m- more like when we went, I thought it was. Well, it is a farmer's market, but but I think. There's... Oh yeah. They had more than just food trucks. You're right. Yes. Okay. It's a farmer's market, but I think what they've been doing until the farmer's market opens in the summer. Gotcha. They have okay. Food truck Fridays. So cool. Which I love. Um, there's also, uh, this is the Sharon's next big night out, Rolling Stone tribute band at Fire Island uh, Vines. Wine. Yeah. It, it Have you ever been to Fire Island no. Vines? Oh, it's awesome. It's like a little, it's a bar. Yeah. Uh, but they serve all Long Island wines okay. there um, and then others too. But it's really a cute little, and they do a lot of events there. They'll do like psychic night. Um, it's really cool. Um, yeah. You know what else is happening in... Um, Coming up is Babylon Kite Festival at Robert Moses Beach on Field Four. Um, that is, we I went to that. That was amazing. The Kite Festival, yeah, it's one of our favorite events. I mean, it's on April. It's, it's on not, Saturday, it's just, April twentieth. I think they got to rename it. I don't know. It's like unbelievable yeah. the amount of kites and the sizes of them. And I've, I've seen pictures of it on social, and um, last year it got rained out, so they had a different rain day. Yeah. So I didn't get to go because the date changed. Right. But I want, I want to go like it is. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> um, and then, you know what else happening? What? Taylor Swift inspired dance party at Mulcahy's on I know. April I, 19th. I, I don't know if I can do. I love Mulcahy's. They always bring the party. I don't uh, know if I can do any more concerts. I know. I'm tired. I know. But I, I love know, it. That's I true. love Mulcahy's. They always bring the fun. And um, Saturday and Sunday or no, Sunday and Monday, I guess. No, Saturday and Sunday. I was right. Saturday and Sunday is spring dog days at Old Westbury Gardens. So you can bring your dog. So cute. Get out there and enjoy and just beautiful see all the weather. flowers. I love it. Love it. Love it. I love it. So a lot going on. Um, but Sharon, literally right before we started, you and Michael. Yeah, he spilled Michael, my charity. Michael, Michael spilled the tea on your celebrity. Your I mean, celebrity. celebrity. Sorry. <laughs> Definitely not you char- spilled the tea on <laughs> the celebrity, <laughs> and I'm like so glad I'm drinking because I'm in a bottle right now because I was stunned by this I news. I know. So OJ was announced. Um, at, it was announced this morning that OJ has passed away from cancer. That's crazy. I know. So I listen. You know, I'm a big Howard Stern fan. Yes. And Howard Stern always talks about OJ because he couldn't believe that like OJ's still out and about. Golfing, living, life. living his yeah. best life. Mm-hmm. And OJ was always on Twitter. Mm-hmm. And he'd be like, hey, Twitter fans. <laughs> hey, Twitter people. Or Twitter world. Hey, Twitter, Twitter world. world. Um, and he was like, you know, and I heard recently, it was like, people are saying that I've got cancer and I'm in hospice. News to me. Yeah. It's not happening. I'm right here. And I was like, yeah. Uh, hello? And then. And it's, it's weird that he lied till the bitter end. Till the right? bitter end. I mean, he's still lying. I know. That clearly he was probably in hospice. Isn't that weird? Why lie about it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm st- I was well, stunned. You were stunned when I saw when I was like, oh, I wish we would have waited. I know, because I was like, the whole gas. Yeah. You're like, I wish I'd gotten in the butt. But wow, that's, you know, I got to say. I'm not sorry. I mean, yeah, I, I, rest. You know, I, I won't even say rest in peace. I, I don't even know what to say in this yeah, situation yeah, like yeah, that yeah. because so many people stuff. I remember that very vividly. I was in college mm-hmm. um, during that trial. Mm-hmm. And in fact, I'll never forget. Um, I was at Arizona State and I was in my women's. I was taking women's studies. Okay. And everybody like ditched class. To go. to go back then. That it was, was like the true first, I wouldn't say first, but real caught real reality um, trial celebrity thing. Oh, right. I remember it because, you know, you got to remember this was pre internet. Yes. Okay. Yes. Pre internet, pre social media. So we watched the Bronco chase on the news. So crazy. Yeah. My father would like watch that and religiously. So I remember very specifically, and I kept my Arizona State State Press newspaper up until I moved to New York. Finally, I had to like purge all my, I kept a few newspapers and I, I had the picture because everybody went to the Memorial Union Mm -hmm. where there was a big screen TV Mm -hmm. and like, we were all that we watched the verdict. They were like, the verdict is in and everybody came and it was, it was really interesting to see the reactions, like the, the unbelievable gasps. Yeah of like how this could happen. And then I went to my women's studies class right after 
And I'll never forget my teacher saying, it's a really sad day for women, mm. you know, yeah, that women, women don't get justice. Right. And we're seeing what's happening in other, in like Arizona and all these oh, things today. Yeah. And it's really, it's sad. You know, women really to this day, still, we don't get justice. I know. I know. Um, and we're overlooked and our rights are taken away. And um, so I was shocked to hear that because yeah. I just heard him on Howard Talking Stern being it. like, yeah. it's not true. Yeah. Just, no. But just goes to show. I know. And till the bitter end, the bitter end. But just, funny enough, like back to, we, um, owned a white Bronco <laughs> when we were <laughs> during that time frame. Um, my father was a retired police officer and, and that was just when he retired. So he literally watched that trial religiously. Like, um, I, I remember coming home and like, it was always on TV and it was like, I, I think that was the first real celebrity uh, it trial. Was, it was crazy because televised up until that event, you have to remember that OJ was like, he was like, he was like Bill Cosby. I yeah. mean, it was, he was America's sweetheart. Yeah. He Giants, was so charismatic like, yeah. and he did all these commercials mm -hmm. and he was an actor and an athlete. I mean, yeah. people loved him I know, and it was really unbelievable yeah. for people to think that he could be capable of doing something Didn't like this. Didn't he just, I know we're talking a lot about him, but like recently, um, serve because he like stole all of his Super Bowl stuff. Yeah. Right. Well, that's in what, Vegas, that's, that's like he was he went to jail for. He okay. didn't go to jail for this crime. Then he got in jail for like something about selling stuff or get, stealing like, his stuff yeah. back. And which and they like, got, they caught him because he was supposed to be auctioning. Over. But it was so crazy. I remember it so clearly. And in fact, every now and then, I'll still say to my dad, we, we, and it was just wild. The, the, the national mm -hmm. attention. Um, it, Michael, there was this whole thing where. They always say, you know, one of the things you need to know in business, don't ask a question to something you don't know the answer to, mm -hmm. especially in a public setting. And so one of the things is they, they found the glove, right? They found his, right. the, the, the glove, leather glove, the mm -hmm. leather glove, because they said they thought he jumped the fence. They found the glove and, um, they, they was like this, this smoking gun. Yes. A mm -hmm. glove. I with remember that. Mm -hmm. And then they had him try it on and f without any preconceived, you know, they had him tried on in public and it doesn't fit. And then Kardashian, yes. this is where the Kardashians, is, Kardashians came from got famous. because yeah. his lawyer was Robert, Robert Kardashian, who was genius, genius. And they were like, I'll never forget. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. Mm -hmm. The glove don't fit. You must acquit. I mean, that is some marketing. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. I still know that to this That's day. So crazy. Uh, one more interesting fun fact. Mm. Uh, I share a birthday with OJ. Wow. Yeah. Huh. I'm not proud to say it. No. Um, but you know, every year when they're like, who do you share a birthday oh, yeah, with? Yeah. And I think Tom Hanks too. So I was like, oh, Tom Hanks fun. in the same boat. But I was like, great. Me and OJ. Thanks for that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, well, that's, that's sad, but hopefully it's some closure for, you know, the families that's ever, that yeah. suffered. And, um, you know, I just didn't know it, but I just think it's interesting that he lied till the very bitter end. It's like, okay, yeah, just say it. Some people. Maybe just, wouldn't you think you'd want to just clear the air? What do you got to lose at that point? Right, you're dying. Maybe there's a letter. Do you think there's a letter? Doubt it. He lied until the very, he's on hospice he, lying about it. He convinced himself. Yeah. He convinced he's like, himself. No. Uh, anyway, that's, that's a lot. That I think that's enough, right? Any yeah. other celebrity? Uh, no. Cause I, 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 to me, you can't top that. You can't top that. That was great. Uh, Sharon, it's been so good catching I up know, with you again. I missed you. Um, I missed you too. There's so much coming up for summer, Ugh. spring. We have a ton of content. Make sure you get out to the vineyards for wine week. And, um, and thank you to Wolfer and Long Island Wine Country yes. for being our partners. And um, stay, enjoy this beautiful springtime weather on Long Island, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. The Long Island Tea Podcast is brought to you by Discover Long Island. For exclusive access to contests and promotions, follow the Long Island Tea Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And for questions, comments, and collaborative inquiries, email spillthetea at discoverlongisland.com. <laughs>